The new sweep mesh tool in Maya 2022 is a really versatile curve-based modeling tool. Basically, it works with nerves or Bezier curves, allows you to select curves and then just in one click, quickly create a mesh. So most common example would be, of course, tubes and wires. Uh, but you can create different shapes based on uh, these different profile presets. So we have the ability to create rectangles, rectangles with rounded corners. You can control things like the width and the height. Uh, obviously, you can control things like the subdivisions along the length, but it also does a really good job of dealing with things like elbows and things like corners, which the old NURB surface tool just could not handle. So what you'll see here is we're creating a pipe and it maintains the constant volume all the way through the length of, of the pipe, including the elbows. So it creates really nice elbows. So I could basically select these and extrude them and get essentially like what looks like an actual plumbing elbow in a, in a pipe. Uh, similarly here, we can take an edge around a shape and create kind of frames and architectural details, so something like crown molding. Uh, and you can customize that using a number of different methods. So you can use a simple polygon shape and then define that shape as your profile and the perimeter of the plane in this case, or it could be any, any arbitrary shape, but the perimeter will define the profile of that extruded or that swept path. Then you can go in and interactively adjust that. So as you change the shape of the profile input, that will change the shape of the uh, actual sweep mesh. And you can also do this on top of other surfaces or on top of other geometry. So here we're basically taking some edge loops on the fender of this car, we're converting those to curves. We're just doing a quick combine to turn that into one curve. And then we're creating a sweep, which by default is just going to be a simple circle. We'll tweak the divisions here a little bit. And then we'll actually use another edge loop from another piece of geometry as the profile. So we're using one edge loop from one piece of geometry as a profile, another edge loop from another piece of geometry as the path, and we're basically able to construct geometry on geometry with sweep. So here's another example of that. We're basically taking the edge loop around the collar of this uh, character, this piece of armor, and we're going to sweep that. And by default, we'll get a tube. We can switch that to a line or to an arc. We have these other cool pattern tools like Wave. You can control the alignment. So you can basically say a line to the left or to the right or to the top or the bottom, and then you can expand out from that. Here we're creating uh, cycles in the wave, tweaking the amplitude, tweaking the orientation. And then now it looks like we basically have kind of a beveled extension of that piece of geometry. And then lastly, we can create instances or patterns. So we're using distribution feature here to basically create instances of tubes or any profile shape, and then repeating that in a pattern, a circle or square or a linear pattern. Uh, and then we're tweaking things like the twist and the twist is gonna give us coils basically. So a wound cable, something like you would see on a suspension bridge. And we can also change the taper. So the taper can just taper uh, uniformly or linearly rather, uh, or we can use this nice profile, this curve widget to define the taper. So you, as you can see, Sweep is a really versatile tool for creating lots of different shapes.